Hey Saber fans, Darth Alice here again and I just wanted to show you a newly finished commission that I just finished up. This one is another TFU2 from Solos Hold and this is one of a few that I'm building in the Elite version. With this one I did a standard heavy aging on it in that I went through and pitted the metal real well, did a good darkening in different areas to try to give it a good worn aged look. Also I changed this out to a stone kabakan in here. Um, custom blade plug, you know, just my signature type that I like doing for this saber to look like a turbine emitter. Aged leather, this is old gold skin that's been beat up a little bit. And you can see the aging on the pommel. Once again, thanks to my friend Aaron over at Solos Hold for creating such a beautiful saber and putting these things out so fast. This here is the second run in a space of two and a half years and now he's on to run number three. Quite impressive. But the cool thing about these two is that they're designed, of course, as many have seen, as a reveal. And with this, all you do is just take an Allen head wrench, pop this little pin in, rotate this counterclockwise, and there we go, we've got the full reveal. Now on the V3s, what I've done is, of course, go through and uh, build a whole lower reveal section with this. And this one has etching pattern number two, is what I call it for the uh, circuit board pattern. A couple brass insets. Now this, the crystal chamber, is designed by, uh, by Darth Rye over at Goth 3 Designs. and It's all 3D printed steel, bronze, and brass. Shout out to my friend Noah Drew for the Galaxy Marble that I've got in here with the synthetic opal in the center. Chassis system is also by Darth Rye and that's 3D print printed uh, flexible plastic. And then the board itself is an Igniter 2 by Nigon Electronics. We're running an 18650 battery from Solos Hold. I've got a 28 millimeter Railmaster flat speaker in here with its own custom design holder and expansion chamber. And then I'm also running an NEC XPE2 Cree red, green, royal blue for the main LED, again from Nigon Electronics. All wiring is done with high-grade military-spec Teflon 2830 and 32 gauge wire. So that gives you something that's going to give you a lot of longevity and also I can fit a lot more wiring into a tinier space with that kind of wire. So on top of all that, font package, I've got Lord Blaco's TFU2 package, which is quite extensive. It runs over 4,000 WAV files. So with that, let's hear this thing boot up. We can see the accent LEDs doing their thing. Yeah, it's cool. I managed to fit eight accent LEDs in this to take full advantage of igniter's uh, pads that are laid out. That are laid out for that. And then, of course, when you enclose all that sound, it turns into an extremely loud saber blasters. So now, let's see a blade in it. This has a few different patterns for the accents and of course different colors because it matches the holocrons going across the video game.
yeah this is what I want to show and it's kind of the epileptic pattern <laughs> Beautiful purple. And of course, it's got the music tracks from the Force Unleashed 2. This has the full FX pack on it too, and I set it at a very low setting so it does come on. It's just really, I, I set it at such a low setting that you got to play with the saber a bit to actually hear the FX quotes come on on it. Well, let's see. So, there we go, folks. Once again, this is Darth Alice. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you always.